Woody and Frothy is Daggy and Barney with you for Magic Round Preview. David's miserable as shit, but we're going to get through this quickly <laughs> so he can go home. Uh, looking forward to, to guess what I'll be doing on Thursday. What's that, mate? Flying to Brisbane That's for Magic Round. Very good. Jeez, I'm excited. Hopefully you're not half dead. <laughs> no, there's that too, but mm. give it time. Um, yeah, what's going on? I'm never miserable as shit. I get a bit grumpy, but come All on. Right. Okay, he's just grumpy. <laughs> he's a Sharks fan. How grumpy can you be? Try living my life. Mm. No, thanks. Anyway, yeah, so Magic Round's <laughs> ahead of us. It, it's unfortunately been crueled by injuries and suspensions. That's a little bit. I, I dare say you'll still see plenty of very good football. I can't say I'll be bored. The worst part is that Suncorp looks the best it has for years and we've always crapped on about the ground and it's yeah, always been what perfect. Yeah, about? <laughs> you, you watch it the one time it looks brilliant. And the forecast is no. improving. It was forecast rain originally and it's just starting to look a little bit better than uh, it had earlier in the week. So always holds up well. Some sun you might year. see a couple of weird bounces at the last couple of games of the weekend, but it, yeah. it always generally holds up very well. So might look, look might not look the best by the end of the eight games, but... Um, yeah, there's never generally a problem with the pitch. So. We kick off with Friday night at 6 o'clock at, uh, obviously, every game's at Suncorp now. Mm-hmm. We'll close that. Uh, Friday night, the Raiders hosting the Bulldogs for the Raiders. You would have thought I would click this link before we started. <laughs> Greg Gum's wife. Here we go. For the Raiders, Ruppin is back. He's at fullback. We've got uh, Hoppawade back to the bench. Papa, he's named to start. And no Corey Hallsbridge just yet. Everything else looks pretty similar to what we've seen from the last couple of weeks. Halves are still strange and weeks. For the Dogs, uh, they're unchanged from the team that uh, got close to Penrith. Uh, interesting game. Can you give – well, actually, probably a closer game than I'm giving his credit, but what are you thinking? Same here. Um, I think the Raiders have been a little bit forgotten. Obviously, the – Pretty solid outsiders here against the Bulldogs. Um, their last effort before the bye was fantastic against Manly and the grit and determination that they put into that game to get it through it. Um, I am leaning slightly towards the Dogs, though. I think there's a little bit of extra pace out wide and um, a few more creative opportunities. Uh, they're going to have to hold the middle, though, because you know the Raiders are coming through the middle of the field and it's going to be a big challenge for them to, to keep to keep the, the, the middles and um, Hudson Young on the edge and Whitehead on the edge there quiet for, for long periods of the game. I think they've got enough in them. You've, we've seen the amount of grit and determination out of the Dogs as well for most of this mm. year. So I'm going to go with Dogs 1-12. to 12. I think they might have learned a couple of lessons off the off the loss that they copped last week against the Panthers. And I'm going to go with Kikau. I think he'll be um, distru- at his destructive best running down the edge there in front of a... A massive crowd and um, man of the match for him. And we'll go with um, Josh Adokar, first try scorer. I'm going to go the Bulldogs 1-12. to 12 And I, as you can tell from that, this is something I might change before kickoff, to yes. be honest. But I, uh, even though it worked so well for me last week, <laughs> uh, when I changed the Melbourne tip and it cost me a round. But anyway, we going 1-12. to 12, I think it's just more outside back points. I think they'll play that way. Burton's on a bit of a heater. He's... Probably playing for well, probably playing to wrap up a New South Wales yep. jersey at this stage more than anything, Correct. and I think he'll be heavily involved. Uh, obviously, he's got to deal with the handbrake being on the whole time, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, as you as you mentioned, the directness of the Canberra team is what we've always been worried about with the Dogs, and they have fought that pretty well. Now they can sort of trust King and Hughes to get through that work, and if they can match up, I think outside back points probably late. Also, the fact Canberra can just produce a putrid 20 minutes mm-hmm. every two weeks. Uh, I'm going to go with them. Man of the match, I'm going to go well, I'm gonna go with Burton, as I said, on a heater. Bronson Cherry, first try out there. Lovely. They're putting a bit of work on Chris. The traditional Friday night is the Seagulls and the Broncos. For With Tommy out, T- Tolo Cool is at fullback for Manly. Tommy Talao goes in the centres. Ray Vega's back. He's on the wing. Uh, and Corey Waddell goes back to the bench with uh, Olakawatu coming into the starting side, simply drops out, and Gordon uh, Chan Kum Tong keeps his number 14 spot, despite all of that. For the Broncos, they look pretty much... Oh, Jock Madden's back. Uh, replaces Rogers. He's come over, overcome his injury. The rest of the team is smoothly starting for Walters, and Blake Moser comes onto the bench to... 
keep the double hooker role going. Willison, Hetherington, Gazaski, the best, the rest of the bench. Uh, I think Madden coming in is fine. That they don't lose ink here. I think there's enough that Early the back game. end of this. Oh, absolutely. Um, the back end of this Seagulls was bleak points again. It'll be late thirteen plus Brisbane at Suncorp, especially missing their guns. Uh, yep. Missing Tommy. Uh, I think they, they could leak a lot of points at the back end once the Fords really gain ascendancy there. Combo first try, why not? If not, he would be Mariner. You know, for the record, we'll go Dean Mariner. He's going to break the strike rake. And uh, I'm going to go with the safe play. And Pat Carrigan, I fell in love with him at Magic Round two years ago. And I think he'll have a – he's had a quite two weeks, and I think this is the week for him to bounce back uh, on the back of him and Payne House, the traditional tag team. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, I agree with pretty much everything you've said there. I expect the Brisbane forwards to become really dominant in the last half an hour, and yeah, they, that's where they'll skip away and and put on quite a few points at the back end of this game. Um, I think Manly would probably be competitive. They might even be in front at the start of the game. We know the way they like to play and get the shifts on early in the game. Um, I just don't think this forward pack can last long enough to um, no. to get them the win. So. Yeah, I think it'll be Reese Walsh. Loves a big crowd, loves the moment. <laughs> he gets, he'll get up and about and um, a few of these passes might stick and we'll have him man of the match and I'm going to go with Cobo with first try scorer. Well, there you go. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> Saturday, 3 p.m. kicks off. It's not quite... The yeah, last few Magic rounds, a lot of games have felt must-see. I will say this round yes. isn't quite with us. This would have been if both teams are full strength. Uh, and if both teams are full strength, I've been very bullish on Titans being here. Unfortunately, AJ, we've, I've just saw, was out for, is now out for eight weeks. It is a yeah, groin okay. tear, so that's wow. very unfortunate. Chris Randall and Sam Verrills are the new halves. Aaron Clark's a new hooker. Uh, Kia only Keeney stays at one. Khan Pereira comes on the wing. Palacia and Stimson join the bench. Yeah, they're into the... Uh, is Weaver anywhere in the 21? Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, Don't might, be surprised I, if I you see a late shift there. Comes in, Good old right. Desi putting people in the 21 jersey and bringing them in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, given these named two hookers in the halves, yes. Uh, looks like Newcastle. Oh, they lose Saifidi to the suspension. And they get and the they other Saifidi back. To, um, Jacob back and mm -hmm. Gamble comes in for Cogger. Uh, Cogger comes in for Gamble who had a foot injury. I think he's out for a bit too, actually. Another one we didn't mention. Mm. believe he left in a moon boot. I have to tip Newcastle here just because, as I said, Titans now are into the uh, the bottom 15 of their squad. With all due respect to them, it's not quite uh, Brimson and Foran and no. all the good ones. So we'll go 1-12 to because I think this might be a bludger. Bradman Best, his last origin edition, he might have some fun out wide there with those outside backs. So I'll give him man of the match, and I'm going to put him down for two tries too. May as well put him down for the first. I had it down as 1-12, to 12, but more I think about it, I think this will be a 13-plus job by the back end of this and, game. And Newcastle actually have now put – this will be four in a row. <laughs> this. Yeah. So um, Hastings been warming to the task. Frizzell back, um, second week back. I think he'll, he'll tear this apart on that right edge. I think he'll be man of the match. I really like what I saw from him first game back after an, an injury and um, – yeah, I, I can see him causing all sorts of problems on that right edge. Um, Dave Fafita be defending against him, so that'll be interesting. But, um, yeah, he <laughs> cause a few problems out there. Mazu are generally always a pretty decent bet for first try scorer. I think they line him up and get him one-on-one um, -on -one with his opposition and he, he powers through over there. Yeah, as I said, I really like what Hastings has been doing, getting them around the field. I think Cogger probably adds to their kicking game, uh, which they don't get through Gamble. And um, they just seem, obviously, as you mentioned, Titans are at the very back end of uh, of their depth chart right now. And, um, yeah, they're fitter, fitter, stronger side for mine. Newcastle, 13+. plus. The match of the round is the Sharks and the Roosters at 5.30. This will be a full house. And the Sharks... Get Nico. Well, Nico's been named. Mm -hmm. So we'll just keep it on it. As we suggested in the review show, if he's, I reckon if he's less than 80%, well, if he's even 80%, they probably don't risk him just yet. Uh, Blake Braley, obviously named Hooker. Cam McGinnis back to 13, which pushes Williams out, which pushes, uh, which leaves the rest of the flow on there. 
Braden Trindle named on an extended bench because I believe there's some delay with whatever's going on with him, which is weird because I was under the impression he wasn't even training. But anyway, he's named. <laughs> no one ever asked those questions. Joey Manu. I've never heard about him coming back to training. No, because it was full. Yeah. So either how are you going to play a bloke? Anyway, how are you going to play mm. a bloke off a month off? Allegedly. Manu's got concussion protocols. So he's out. Ponga comes on the wing. Uh, Cheese is back. He's starting, which pushes Watson back to 14. Uh, the rest look pretty much like they did last week. Wow, what a cracker, Barn. What are you doing? Huge back and forth in this game. Um, I think Cronulla need to sort of drag it into the middle and really make it that, that, that middle battle, which you wouldn't have thought um, at the start that of the is, year. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's that's the way they've been going. Uh I can see the Roosters getting out to a bit of a lead, to be honest, and then um, the Sharks really grinding back through the middle and then uh, th they might have to go searching for some of these outside backs that they haven't really been unlocking earlier in the year and you might see a, a bit of panic passing and stuff like that uh, to get some of these outside backs involved. I think it's going to be a, a massive match. It's going to be very close for a big part of it. Um, I think the Sharks might just have enough... Uh, if I wasn't a shark spotter, I'd be, probably be tipping the roosters. But I, well, I really like what I've seen out of them recently, and I think if they can get the, into that grind and the fight in the middle, they might just be able to outlast the roosters through the middle of the field. I'm going to go with Cam McGinnis, man of the match. Uh, you know, another fifty odd tackles and hundred odd meters with the ball, and I'm, I'm going to go with Ramian, first try scorer. I, okay. I think he has been a bit more direct recently in the last couple of weeks, and. Uh, I think they'll be going, it might be a tip-on from um, Nakora or an offload after ducking into the line. But, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the Roosters did get off to a hot start, though. I agree. I, I, well, I'm not a shark spotter, so I'm tipping the Roosters. Mm. This will. This is the testing one. Uh, I am super keen to back the Sharks next week against Penrith, but right now I'm going to go with the, the Chooks on the back of their streak. As you say, this could turn into a real Ford battle, and I think that uh, Collins, Crichton, Radley are all. It, we haven't really talked a lot about Victor Radley in review shows, but he's having a great season. He's, he's been out for a couple of weeks as well. Well, we, and we did Doesn't touch help. on it then, but um, they uh, are all trending really well. I think this is a, a really great Ford battle. I'm hoping for a cracker 1 to 12 Roosters. I would love a golden point or something just to interest me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first try scorer, Dom Young, to keep going. I would be concerned if, if Roosters do get a, a 12 or 18 point lead in a heartbeat. I, I think the chasing capability would would concern me a little bit, but we've seen that. We've seen well, they haven't shown Canberra. it this year. They, no, they, apart from Canberra. They showed it last year, but yeah. yeah um, exactly. They do have some targets. So I think they'll target Ponga, um, po yeah, Poga, and um, I think you can get Tupu to shoot in off the wing as well. So, but yeah, yeah no, I. I'm not going to tell anyone not to tip the Roosters, that's for sure. <laughs> Teddy man of the match. Eve of origin, st he'll step up and uh, put in a show. But Guzzi Crichton, two points. Yep. Just uh, red hot at the moment. Uh, then we have this uh, absolute ball terror, the main event, 7.45 at Suncorp. Uh, could potentially be an excuse for me to go to Lord Alfred at 8.15, but... Sorry, just in the last one, just expect a lot of um, our, a lot of the second rowers running directly at the halves. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. going to be some halves getting worked over in that oh, game. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, all four of them are, are in for the... Atkinson had his night last week, but he's going to have to stop uh, Guzzi this week, which yep. is different and then, gravy. Yeah. And Nicker and Walker, same, same deal. Matt Butcher, they're just going to be targeting the halves and the centres. Absolutely. Rabbitohs and Cowboys, bottom four clash here. Bunnies get Alex Johnston back. That's good. He'll be waiting for all those uh, hardworking inside players to get it to him. <laughs> Gay guys back on deck as well, which pushes uh, Shibasaki out of the side. Uh, Tewapa keeps his spot, and that's about it. Todd Payton gets Tua Lungi back, and uh, Jordan McLean back from hamstring injuries. Uh, which pushes Valame out of the side uh, on the back of his pot plant effort. And Michaeli goes back to the bench. I, I, I'm going to tip the Cowboys by default. Yep. I, I have no firm opinion. One to 12 Cowboys. Hopefully, Souths wake up this week. Dollar 35. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure they're capable of waking up, but I know this is going to be a an outstanding performance from either team by any means. But if Cowboys are going to win, Scott Drinkwater is going to involve all the points. He'll be mm -hmm. man of the match. 
first try score. Let's go up to Alangi because last time I was there, he did that freak thing where he threw that ball from the second row uh, and won them the game against the Tigers. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, they're both as bad as each other at the moment. Uh, really hard to tip a winner in this one. We're going to go Cowboys 1-12. to I think there might be some shots fired. I think you might see a few points in this game um, because what else have you got to lose? You may as well fucking sing the ball around and have a crack. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think they're going to target Isaac Thompson uh, moving into the centres there and he's going to be a one-on-one opposition with Val Holmes. So don't be surprised if you see Val uh, slide past him a couple of times for a few <laughs> tries in this game. I'm going to go with him to score the first try and I'm actually going to go Ruben Cotter, man of the match. Uh, the amount of work that he gets through week in, week out, yeah, I, I think it'll make a really big difference in this game and you you might even you know see him set up a try or score one through the middle of this South's pack. So. Well, another thing, in, in this game... The three off the back of the last couple of weeks, you can pinpoint uh, Cotter, Tamalolo off the bench, mm-hmm. and Nanai that are going to be involved and, and probably be the difference realistically. Mm-hmm. Think about this on the fly. Two o'clock at Suncorp. The Wars host the Panthers, which is a game I'm sure six weeks ago everyone had in a big red a big, yeah, absolutely. You know, big red text and not to miss. Flashing lights. A- sure. Absolutely. But uh, for the Warriors now, let's look at this. Charns mm. and uh, Charns is named at six, which is two peaky at fullback. Tamari Martin at seven. Uh, Tavanga, Laban, Ale, Walker on the bench. For Penrith, Luai given the keys to the side at seven. Jack Cole, six. And the rest is what uh, Dane Laurie comes on the bench with the dropout, obviously, of Cleary. I don't think I've missed anyone else. No. Nope. Mm. So. I can't possibly tip the Warriors either. Nope. I don't think this will be an overly stimulating game, to be honest. I think Penn will go through their motions, get it done by about 12 points. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll give Luai Man the match because that's probably what they'll do. Uh, actually, no, they won't. I tell lie. Edwards Man the match. He'll still bust his ass. He'll do everything <laughs> he does. Three points to him. I'm interested to see Luai play seven, see what he actually brings to this side, whether he's proactive, because we have seen many moons ago him tear a couple of teams apart. Without Cleary there, but it's been a long time. First try score a bitter. Let's go. Yep, um, I'm the same. I, c- I can't tip the Warriors at the moment, uh, especially with the injuries off the back of it. Best chance is to play some touch footy and maybe score some points. But um, and if they do that, could be an entertaining game. Uh, was really concerned with some of the com- uh, the confused look of Penrith had in their attack last week. Yeah. I expect Cole and Luai to stay left and right, to be honest. I think it's going to be Isaiah Yeo that's going to take up a lot of that ball playing in the middle of the field. He's going to be taking... And Edwards. Edwards will touch a ball He'll be taking Cole and Luai... uh, Cole and Luai into the line with him and he might even set up some tries for the halves off off his bat. I'm actually going to go Yeo, Yeo man of the match. I think he might set up a try and get through all the work that he always does. Going to go with Dallin to score the first try. The Warriors might just... uh, Find them, find their way down the field and and score the first one, but yeah, Panthers one to twelve. Four o'clock is the Storm and Para. Storm uh, get uh, Xavier Coates back, which pushes Anderson out of the side, uh, just in time to get some strike there. Uh, Wishart retains the seven, and everything else is the same as last week. No Moses, so Desen, Dejan Arcee comes in at six. And uh, Hands and Sanders leave the team. Bryce Cartwright comes into the squad for them. Lane Madison to the back row. I don't think I can talk. Well, this will be this will be a better game. This is a sleeper of a game actually. If if Melbourne play like uh, if Para play like last week, they can probably match you right there, bud. No. Do you need to wait? <laughs> All right, I'll give you a sec. <laughs> All right, Barney's no longer seeing the world in sepia, so. <laughs> What uh, what are you doing in this game? Oh, you had a good roll on too, and you hadn't even finished what you. Yeah, about fuck, it. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, this so, is what it's like. Yeah, it should be um, should be a bit more competitive. Uh, Parramatta seem to be in a little bit better form than what they were the previous month, but um, yeah, I, I can't see this being a contest by the end of the match. To be honest, uh, there's just too much ball playing, and you, you saw Wishart is. Uh, stamped himself as a, a pretty good playmaker on the back of Munster. I think Munster will tear this game apart. 
back, you know, in front of his adoring Queensland fans up uh, there. He loves and, Suncorp, doesn't he? You know, coming into um coming into Origin time, he just absolutely put his stamp on this game, put his have his fingers on what just happened? about Sorry, everything. Just a random thought, completely, completely random, and this is what I do. So Faye Longo is a Melbourne junior, right? Correct. Who's he eligible for? I don't think he's eligible for so anyone. So can, he can never play Origin? Yeah, I don't think so. Right, okay. I think you have to. Well, probably declare for, well, just, mm. I was just thinking about Harry. Obviously, Harry. I'm not sure if there's a way you can nominate yourself for other, otherwise, but yes, hey. it, it generally comes down to where you f- play your first senior footy, whether it's in New South Wales or Queensland. And He'll you know, probably have, well. Well, he was playing with Melbourne. He would have played with the um, the Cutters or, or whoever it is up yeah. there. So, um, Sunshine Falcons or something. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So now he plays for North Sydney. Possibly could. Consider that he played for North Sydney New South Wales Cup, but yeah, there would have been a feeder team. Yeah, he might. He, I don't know if he's a Kiwi. I don't I think know. He's Sunshine Coast Falcons, but um, no, so he's probably a Queenslander. Yeah, <laughs> good question. Well, um, we'll find out in the next year or two, though. I would imagine. Yeah, I'll spend weeks. His name will be it. his name will be thrown around. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Xavier Coates first try. Uh, obviously, a massive target for the Melbourne Storm when they when they get that kick across the field. And yeah, as I said, I, I don't think this will be a competition by the back end of this game. As long as, as long as the forward pack doesn't roll all over the top of like Parramatta, don't get up and going and and roll this Melbourne forward pack, uh, they'll win thirteen plus. Yeah, I guess they will. I was going to make a, a case for this Melbourne forward pack, but I think the back the Mel, uh, the para forward pack. But I think, as I said, uh, your Welsh Bloors, Katoas will do enough to to handle them. And Harry Grant and Cam Munster at Suncorp will put on a show, hopefully for me. And I agree with you. I, I, I would put Coates down for two. I think if he's marking Sevo, I'll be kicking <laughs> to him and he, I'll put him down for two or three tries in this yep. game. Uh, for the record, man of the match. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you know, let's go Sean Bloor, but I think it's Munster. <laughs> we'll just move. And um, again, another game, six weeks I was so excited for, but... Um, Tigers are hosting the Dolphins at the six thirty game. Might be an excuse for us to get the early <laughs> bus home. You wouldn't even let me tip <sighs> Tigers with your money, would you? No. No. <laughs> Alamada <laughs> comes onto the wing. Fainu Safarth Twal is the starting forward pack. In addition to uh Otukamanu and Clema. Simkin, Pole, Kapoa, Fain uh Sione makes his first grade debut. Yes. Um still no Matamua. I don't know what he has to do. But uh, for the Dolphins, they get... Oh, just in case, they get hammer back. You know? Yep. <laughs> Which pushes Fuller out the rest is what you'd expect. Hammer could tear us a new one here. Fresh firing, ready for origin. Could be the origin centre instead of Val. Fuller at 18. Yeah, okay. Yep. No. Did you name Hammer in your team? No, I had him in the other centre position, yeah. You did? Good. I didn't listen. <laughs> it was actually no due respect. I, I am a male. I mean, if I read, I can't listen. No, I get in trouble for all the time. Uh, yeah, Dolphins 13 plus. This will be a slaughter. I'll leave at half time. Hopefully get a good feed. Maybe back to the norm. And keep, I know, we'll be at Storybridge because Vinny will cry eating his steak again. That's uh, another story. Man of the match. Yeah, probably Hammer as well. Yeah. Um, I think... Might be close for the first half again. Tigers seem to be going go okay for half an hour, forty minutes. I can see the the likes of Avarillo, Farnworth, um, getting in behind the ruck and really uh, yeah, it, and it has been for ten years. But outside backs are our issue, and Avarillo and Herbie are yeah. terrifying here. Well, I think they'll start picking the part, the pack apart. Realistically, it'll be the you know, big charges, big defence from Kafusi and the likes through the middle. And then you'll see the centres folding back and, and t- rolling that ruck over and then they'll just start to tear the outside edges apart. Um, Farnworth, Avarillo. I think Nikarima's in for a big game. He's the type of bloke that can expose some of these outside backs with that footwork and pace and, and, and ball playing and, and really set it up for Avarillo to score the first try. Dolphins 13 plus, Cody Nikarima, man of the match. I'm so sad. But, yeah, realistically, out of the day, no Bateman, no Papley, our edges are in a, a tremendous amount of of pain here. Anyway, um, what's got you frothing? Let me put this down. Well, I don't want to be frothing. I'm going to be up there <laughs> drinking beer and having fun and uh, watching rugby league. But uh, if I have to pick something out, obviously that 5.30 game. What a cracker. Yep. 
Absolutely, that's the one I'm going for, Sharks and Roosters. The only other game that really piqued my interest this one, it could be Manly and Brisbane. You could see a lot of tries scored in that game, I think, um, the way that Manly play their football. Um, and then if they do come out to a lead, then Brisbane, you're going to see the desperation out of Brisbane and Cobbo Walsh uh, really attacking the game and, and in the ball zinging around out, out wide. So I, I think you might see quite a few tries in that Manly-Brisbane game. It should be a very entertaining spectacle. Absolutely. What, uh, obviously, you're going to miss out on our Korean barbecue this year, which we Absolutely. could never find. But um, anything, any tips for Magic Round? Yeah. Um, try not to spend more than half your money on the first day. Yeah. <laughs> well, be a big yeah one. I mean, this is a true story. Uh, I went, we, we were budgeting, but life's a bit tighter these days. Mm. Uh, I spent over $1,000 at the ground last time. Uh, $40 shouts aren't ideal. So Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the two of years, yeah. Well, three of us, because we'll carry... Well, we were in a shout. Shouting but, back. Yeah. Come on. You oh, got... you were. That wasn't a knock. But $4 <laughs> shouts, mm. uh, given I don't remember how the Friday finished up, uh, I was very nice and nothing happened. No. Um, and the family were next to a very the next no day issues. as well. Yes. But uh, we're budging much better, and we will not be drinking so much at the ground. So <laughs> Definitely not at the ground. Uh, and also, no. once you've done Brisbane a few times, you realise half of it's a shithole, and you don't need to see all the crap in between. Just go to... Yeah, Victory don't, and don't Story go venturing Ridge too the, wide. The um, have a look. Street. They're yes. starting to make this into a, like a really big uh, event by mm. the looks of it. There's, there's a whole heap of podcasters, there's yeah. the media up and about there. You're going to have lots of different little sideshows on the alleys and the back the back streets around Caxton Street. So I, yeah. I'd really um, implore people to get involved in that kind of stuff too. It just uh, adds that colour and theatre to know the rest it, of the weekend. So. It's just fun. It just feels like fun. Everyone's in a footy jersey. Mm -hmm. No one gives a shit who you follow. Uh, hopefully this isn't the year it all changes. But uh, <laughs> it's just, it, you just talk up to anyone. You say, oh, you follow there. People you, are so you, friendly. You're happy it's to talk. Yeah. Freaking fantastic. I love and it. And you so just talk footy it. for three yeah, days with anyone, three everyone. Days. Um, if you see us out there, come say hello. I'm planning to do a morning preview with Greg. Sure. Um, every morning, like we did. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm not going to wake you up. You don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, but I'll get you to do. Uh, uh, I'll jump on send calls us here, here and do. Uh, yeah. We'll do our tips, our monies thingies, disaster yeah, yeah, class. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Shoot, that's where we'll get that up and try to get that up. But um, yeah, come say hello. We'll jump on, do the Saturday preview or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we'll FaceTime. It's how that'll work. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. Can't wait. Um, unfortunately for you, you're now about to pop out a kid, another kid as well. <laughs> Hopefully, you can be up maybe two years. We'll do it again. Thereabouts, yeah, yeah. you know, chance next year. <laughs> Unless you win the lotto. Right, when I win the lotto, I'll take him. <laughs> anyway, we're talking shit now. Thank you guys. Subscribe, uh, leave us some feedback, all the good stuff. Bye, guys. Good night.